It is the 25th of April, 2016. My name is Ralph Turciano, and I'm here to cover with you the top three health headlines of the past seven days. Starting off with number one, transfer of gut bacteria can make you depressed. Actual titles being transfer of gut bacteria affects brain function and nerve fiber insulation. But they found that the gut bacteria can affect things from myelin, ile, like in cases like multiple sclerosis, and if you get the wrong bacteria, it could actually cause depression. As, as stated, specific combinations of gut bacteria produce substances that affect myelin content and cause social avoidance behaviors, at least in animals. The research suggests that targeting intestinal bacteria or the metabolites could be one way to treat debilitating psychiatric, psychiatric disorders and demyelinating diseases, i.e. as like multiple sclerosis. Number two, the Fructose alters hundreds of brain genes which can lead to a wide range of diseases. The researchers are normally alluding to high fructose corn syrup. What they discovered was this. The research team sequenced more than 20,000 genes in the rat's brains and identified more than 700 genes in the hypothalamus, the brain's major metabolic control center, and more than 200 genes in the hippocampus, which helps hippocampus, which helps regulate learning and memory that were altered by the fructose. The research from the previous research, which kind of uh, confirmed this research, showed that fructose damages communication between brain cells and increases toxic molecules in the brain, and the long-term high fructose diet diminishes the brain's ability to learn and remember information. And by the way, the fatty acid DHA can help offset some of the damage caused by the overconsumption of high fructose corn syrup, or I should say the normal daily consumption in the American diet. Number three, watercress extract detoxifies carcinogens in smokers. This is kind of interesting for watercress. The trial showed that the extract detoxifies environmental carcinogens and detoxicants found in cigarette smoke, which are also found in other areas in the environment, not just cigarette smoke and that the effect is stronger in people who lack certain genes involved in processing carcinogens. The trial was supported by the National Cancer Institute. The participants took 10 milligrams of watercress and mixed in with one milliliter of olive oil four times a day for a week, and the trial group by the one took placebo. In one week, the watercress extract reduced activation of the carcinogen known as nicotine-derived nitrosamine ketone in the smokers by an average of 7.7%. It also increased the detoxification of benzene by 24.6% and acrolein, I can't pronounce it, acrolein by 15.1%. Pretty strong feather in the cap for watercress. Those are the top three health headlines of the past seven days. This is Ralph Church Channel, the 25th of April, 2016. And thank you very much as always for listening. Catch you all next time. Bye.